Math 2, this video is for you. We are in the Triangles Part 1 playlist in Savaz. We're going to be working on the 9-1 Literacy and Vocabulary Worksheet. So this is something that you will need to submit to me on Canvas. This worksheet is talking about congruence. And don't forget that you always have a ticket out the door every day, depending on when you watch this. All right, so I'm going to get right into it because you should have already added your new vocabulary words to your glossary. We are over here. All right, so the triangles part one, that's the name of the playlist. The very first thing that you're going to see is a worksheet. It's going to be a purple icon, 9 1. Uh, literacy and vocabulary. All right, so I'm going to go through this pretty quickly so that this video is not too long. Um, look at your answer choices. There's a lot of congruent and congruence in here. So the very first thing, the very first problem says, well, the directions say choose the concept from the list above that best represents the item in each box. So this is matching. I imagine when you turn this in, you might just, you know, write numbers one through nine and just write the word. That would be sufficient enough for me, you know, to get credit. However, you know, when you look back at that, you know, you need to do what it uh, helps you to be successful. So if, if, if it were me, I probably would want to take a picture of, um, take a snapshot, screenshot, excuse me, of the pictures and then write the words under them because these words don't really mean anything to me without the picture there. All right, anyway, moving on. Number one, you see a picture, you have two shapes. It says A, B, C, D is congruent to H, I, J, K. And they actually, whatever. It's clear that this has been rotated either this way or around or reflected and then reflected over again. But whatever it is, it is a um, congruence transformation. Number one is congruence transformation. And actually, why don't we do this? It's up here. Okay. All right, um, that's number one, congruence transformation. At first I was thinking it could be congruent polygons, but there's another thing that uh, better suits that. This, there was a transformation that happened, so whatever. All right, number two, measure of angle A. That's how you read that. Measure of angle A is equal to 45 degrees. That is going to be your angle measure. So number two is your angle measure. All right, number three, you have two figures. They're obviously congruent. Let's do this. We've already, let's put a little mark. We've done that one. We've done that one. It looks like congruent polygons, maybe congruent segments, um, not necessarily congruent angles because they didn't tell us anything about the angles here. These aren't triangles. Number three is going to be congruent polygons. If all of the segments are congruent to each other, then the, we have enough information to call these congruent polygons. So number three. <laughs> All right. Oh man. Okay, so Going down. All right, 
yz is equal to, notice it's different from this symbol, equal to mn. So they're measuring here. This is the same as that. And looking at your answer choices, we've already done angle measure. We've already done congruence transformation. We've already done, um, what was this? Congruent polygons. So here it must be either a segment measure or a congruent segments. And since this was our angle measure, I'm going to go with congruent segments for number four. Okay, number five, there's no picture there. It says triangle ABC is congruent to triangle XYZ. That's gonna be congruent triangles. That's a pretty easy one. Okay, so they're kind of teaching you the way, you know, the notation. You got two shapes that are congruent to each other. The measure of an angle is equal to how do you notate congruent segments in a shape. You might see sometimes when you see segments being talked about, you could see it with a line over segment, just like you had triangle and then you have that angle symbol up there, right there. So instead of saying the measure of segment, they would just put these little lines over top of those. All right, so going on. It says, you have this picture and it says, look at triangle LMN. And LMN, well, okay. Based on these, this word bank is going to be the pre-image. Okay, how do you know which one is the pre-image? Well, L M N prime is the transformed one, the one that's been reflected and shifted. Glide reflection. Okay, seven. It says, look at M. M is going to be that line of reflection. BC is equal to three centimeters. This is written in the same <clears throat> format as this one up here. Measure of angle A is 45, so this was angle measure. Number A is going to be segment measure. Got one more. We've used all the words except for, let's see what we haven't used. We've used that, 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 that. Oh, we did that one. We haven't used that one. Okay. All right, so we've used everything except congruent angles. Let's see what they say about congruent angles. So they say angle ADB, so the angle, the corner that they would be pointing to is D, whatever's in the middle. Angle AZB and angle SDT are vertical angles. So angle ADB is congruent to angle SDT. All right, um, what was that? Congruent angles. So whenever they're talking about
a d b would mean a d b and then they said s d t so s d t and they're saying that this angle and this angle are congruent. That is just the definition of vertical angles. Okay, so there you have all of your answers for this worksheet. You need to figure out how you're going to write this down on paper or type it up and send it to me over here in, well, I'm in a different class, but it, there is an assignment over here. If I'm not mistaken, should already be in here. Well, I lied. It'll be here by the time you watch this video. <laughs> It'll say 9-1 literacy and vocabulary. All right, so that's all I got, guys. See you next time.